Do you know that feeling when you've just installed a new set of brake pads on your Xiaomi M365 only to realize that they don't fit? If so, you're not alone. It turns out a good number of people get the same problem. At first, you may be tempted to get a piece of sandpaper and sand down some of the extra surface of the brake pad to make room for the brake disc. But don't do that. The brake pads are okay. The problem lies with the assembly of your brake caliper. Keep watching and I'll show you exactly what the problem is and how to fix it. So the new brake pads are in, they've been installed, but you notice that the outer brake pad is protruding too much, at least it seems like it's protruding too much, by two or three millimeters. Maybe protruding so much that the disc won't even fit in. So the next step would probably be to try to readjust the other brake pad so that there's more space for the disc, right? Yeah, you may want to do that, you will be tempted and you should probably try that, but in most cases, even if it does fix the issue, you will still need to readjust the outer brake pad because there's quite possibly something wrong with the caliper, with the, the piston assembly. There are two potential things that may cause the outer brake pad to push into the space where the disc goes. One is an improper assembly of the piston and second is a misaligned notch that's on the piston. Okay. So in order to fix that, or, or to at least check if that's the issue, we'll need to disassemble actually the, the entire brake. Disassembling the entire brake is actually very simple. All you need is two millimeter, four millimeter, and five millimeter hex or Allen keys and about a minute of your time. Once you've disassembled everything, make sure that the two silver parts forming the piston are not misaligned. They should be touching each other. Next, notice this groove inside the caliper. It should align with the notch on the silver piston as you're putting it back. Carefully slide the piston back into place but be careful so that the two silver parts don't come loose and misalign. The outer brake pad should be flush with the caliper. In other words, the pad should not protrude from the caliper. Okay? Next, place the inner brake pad back onto the mounting screw and tighten it all the way so that the brake pads are touching each other. This will ensure that the outer brake pad doesn't become loose as you're reassembling the brake. Next, place the spring back in place, followed by the protective rubber cap and the outer brake arm. Now, as far as the arm is concerned, or whatever you want to call it, I don't know what the name of this is, as you're putting it back, you want to make sure that it's the, that black part, that black arm is flush with the silver screw, okay? Um, if, if these things are misaligned, that will also cause problems with your brakes. So pay attention to that, okay? Now, the final thing you have to do is readjust the inner brake pad back into place. 
in most cases it should be sticking out from the caliper by one or two millimeters no more than that When checking the brakes, the outer brake pad should protrude by about 3 millimeters when the brake is engaged. When disengaged, there should be plenty of space for the brake disc to fit in. If everything looks good, the final step you have to do is to tighten the locking screw to prevent the inner brake pad from moving. Hey folks, if you learned something from this video, please give me a like or consider subscribing for more instructional videos like this. Your support helps me tremendously. Thank you.